Hey guys, and <clears throat> welcome to another video. So in today's video, um, I'm going to be talking about Las Vegas, Nevada. So way back, you know, early on in the channel, I made a video about obviously Las Vegas, but I wanted to make a kind of like a new one, updated one, because um, it's been a few years. Uh, I pretty much, I've been to Vegas at least once a year for the last few years. Uh, my family and I, we like to go there uh, sometimes for Thanksgiving or just randomly out of the year just to spend like a weekend there. Um, obviously, Las Vegas, Nevada, it's not like a true American city by all means. No, it's not. But I would say that in terms of when people think of the United States and they think of like where the most famous cities um, that they know, Las Vegas is probably in there. I would say probably top three, top five. Um, because it brings in people from all over the world. Obviously, it's known for having its, um, you know, elaborate, luxurious hotels on the Las Vegas Strip. Um, you know, the gambling, uh, big time events such as like big boxing matches. Recently, in the last few years, they got a new professional hockey team, and the NFL team, the Raiders, moved from Oakland to Vegas. And then I believe in the near future, there's talks of a potential. Um, you know, basketball franchise. So Las Vegas, obviously, they call it like the entertainment, you know, city of the world. Basically, there's just so much going on there. Um, and it's no reason. And it, therefore, it explains why there's so many tours coming in and out literally every single day throughout the year. And it's just a happening place. It's a fun place. So my personal opinion of Vegas. Um, so just to put it out there, I don't gamble. Um, and I know a lot of people go there for that. You know, I don't gamble at all, but I've always told people that just because you don't gamble doesn't mean that you can't have a fun time at Vegas because, as I mentioned, there's all these other things such as the sports, um, shows, just, you know, eating at great restaurants. There's a lot of good restaurants there. There's so much to do there where even if you don't gamble, you can still have a good time. So I would advise anybody coming to the United States, um, depending on if you're going to be in the East Coast or West Coast, but if you're visiting like California um, I would definitely go to Vegas for a few days. I'm not saying Vegas represents <laughs> America because it's just an adult playground. Um, it's basically, you know, it's in Nevada, so it's in the middle of the desert. But you just in the middle of the desert, you have all these high-end hotels, a um, whole bunch of entertainment activities going on. But I recommend anybody going to Vegas um, because there's a lot to do. Even just seeing the hotels. I remember when I was younger... Um, I always was fascinated by the different hotels that were there, like some of the major famous ones, such as the Flamingo, uh, the Bellagio, the Mirage, the MGM Grand, uh, Caesars Palace. Um, those are some of the famous ones. But you don't need to, like if you're on a budget, you don't need to stay at those. Um, there's a bunch of other, you know, medium, smaller hotels as well, cheaper ones. Those are just like the luxurious ones on the main strip. But then you also have a bunch of hotels outside the main strip and then also Old Town Vegas as well. Um, but yeah, I was there this past Thanksgiving because after my European tour, um, I flew from Frankfurt and I went to uh, directly to Vegas. And that's where I met my family and that's where we spent a few days. And then I went home before going to uh, Colombia. And it just reminded me how much of a cool place Vegas is. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go out there for dating um, because I've always told people that Vegas, while you can meet people, it's more of a nightclub environment. Um, you know, not so much meeting people throughout the day. There's a lot of couples, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, you know, husband, wives that go there. So it's kind of hard. I think, I know it sounds funny because there's so many people, but I think it's not really the ideal place to go up there and, you know, approach girls or try to, you can definitely, you know, I have a little bit, but I think if you want to do that, it's more of a bar nightclub environment because in Vegas, there's a lot of high-end nightclubs. Um, you know, one of the major ones is the Omni at C Caesars Palace. That's where you get a lot of like famous DJs, um, artists that come and perform. So if you're into that, you know, I think that's the place to be. I personally just go there, you know, just to relax. And obviously I just, for the most part, been there with my family. Maybe in the future, uh, I'll take someone with me because I think it's a cool place. But I don't. I think it gets confused because yes, on one hand, you have a lot of people coming in and out. Um, there's a lot of action there. But me personally, I don't think it's a great place to approach women. 
uh, because it's not really the ideal place. Most people throughout the day, they're in their hotel. Yes, you have the Las Vegas Strip, but for the most part, people are in their hotel. And then it's usually at night when, you know, the activity picks up and that's where people go to bars and nightclubs or shows or they just stay in their hotel casino and, you know, either eat or just, you know, do a little bit of gambling. So I wouldn't necessarily go to Vegas just for that. I would just go to Vegas for the other reasons that I stated. Um, Yeah, but other than that, though, I think Vegas is a city on everybody's bucket list that they should travel to. Um, You know, I've been to Macau Uh, which is right by Hong Kong, and they call that the Vegas of the East. And I think, you know, it was all right, but it's nowhere near the comparison um, of uh, Las Vegas itself. While Macau was really cool, uh, I still think Las Vegas is one of the most unique cities in the world. And, you know, I've been, you know, I traveled quite a bit by now, and I would still say that it's an awesome city. Um, I I don't know if I would ever live there necessarily, Um But in terms of just going there from a weekend to maybe a week, I think that's good enough, obviously, depending on your budget, because Vegas can be quite expensive, depending on where you stay and what you do. But for the most part, if you're just visiting for a few days, um, I think everyone can have a great time, depending on the interest. So guys, with that, uh, thanks so much for watching the video. Um, I know it's kind of a random one. But I decided to make this video because I recently went to Vegas. I had a great time. Like, it never gets old for me, even if you stay at the same hotels. Um, It's just a really cool experience because everyone goes there. Um, Not to, like, forget their problems or anything, but because it's a high-energy environment, for the most part, everyone is having a good time. And, you know, the weather, for the most part, is great. It's always warm. It's always hot. And especially um, at night, there's so many cool activities, like, you know, for example, my family, we saw uh, Bill Maher. He came in. Um, you know, he's tech- technically a comedian, but also he talks all about politics. But he's, a, you know, he was a funny guy. So you have like famous artists, musicians um, from all over the world. You can, you know, depending on the time of the year that you go. So there's always something going on. And you can't really get bored unless you just want to stay in your room all day and all night. So guys, with that, um, if you have any questions, you know, comments, leave them down below. Um, And again, thanks so much for watching the video. Please give it a like. Please give it a subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.